The seal of biliteracy is uh, recognition to our students that are proficient in um, the English language and also in another language outside of English. I go to Steiner High School and I received the seal of biliteracy in the Polish language. I attend Steiner High School and I received the seal of biliteracy for Mandarin. I attend Nottingham High School and I received the seal for Urdu. I attend Nottingham High School. I did receive the biliteracy test and um, Portuguese, Asian Creole, and French. I go to Hamilton High West and I got the CL by literacy for Spanish. I go to Hamilton High West and I received the CL by literacy in the language Arabic. We are able to provide our students with an assessment that demonstrates how well our students can speak, listen, read, and write in two languages. And upon completion of that test, if they meet certain criteria, they are awarded the state seal. Over the last seven years, we've been very supportive of this, first and foremost, for our students' recognition and opportunity. Second, to celebrate the diversity of our community, of our state, and of our nation and to think about how the role of bilingual opportunities are available for our students upon graduation or upon entering the, the job market, it's, it's something that they can bring and help uh, put them into the yes pile and to be successful. I think it's important to know another language because it provides um, you with a lot of opportunities not only in like jobs but in school and just like getting to know people even it's really good to know another language. You can go to other countries, speak to other people, know other people, more opportunities of course. The way you speak it, it has like different logic than the English, maybe like different way of thinking. I mean that's definitely for Mandarin and English there's a big difference. I feel like it can help when you're getting a job, meeting new people. Oftentimes you'll interact with people who don't only speak English and that's the great thing about America. It's like you, it's so diverse, you meet so many new people. I work in the hospital so knowing a little bit of Spanish too comes really in handy. Just even knowing a little bit is very essential and can help someone out. Knowing some other languages, it helps you out when you are learning a new one. Because when I got here, learning English was um, way easier for me when I was learning Portuguese because the experience. When I was learning Portuguese, I made a lot of mistakes. But learning English was way more easy. I think it's important because the United States is a very, like, it's like a melting pot, so a lot of people come here from different countries and not everyone can speak English, so it's good to like be able to help other people. My mom and dad, um, they speak English, but they would prefer us to speak Spanish to like make sure it stays with us. So every day, um, if I'm texting my mom, talking to my mom, calling my mom, it's always in Spanish. Some people like in this country, they like they can't speak English, so they, like you could help them um, like translate and like. I use that at my work as well because I have like some of my co-workers uh, they speak Arabic but like a little bit of English as well so like I could like translate to them. I grew up speaking Polish so my experience was since my childhood Polish was actually my first language. My parents they both um, came from Poland when they were in their 20s so I grew up obviously speaking Polish because they didn't really speak, they spoke like broken English. Okay. So going to school, I was in um, like ESL programs. Like I learned English as a second language, mm -hmm. even though I like grew up here. Uh, my parents, they spoke Mandarin. And I, I actually spoke, Mandarin was my first language, okay. English was my second language, and I grew up speaking Mandarin. My parents, they're immigrants, so they didn't speak English. They spoke Urdu. Um, we, me and my siblings, we all learned it over the years. Um, we're not as proficient as they are because we do also speak English. Some of the words, we mix them up, but it was mainly like a family and cultural thing. My first language was Spanish, so I went to school only knowing Spanish and slowly learned English. I was born uh, back in Egypt, um, 
and English was my second language. Uh, Arabic was my first language. My English was broken like at, at first when I came here. But like when I started speaking with a lot of people, I made a lot of friends that like helped a lot. So I started learning Spanish freshman year. Um, and I took my first seal of biliteracy in Spanish my junior year, so after Spanish three. I, I think over my years in high school, I definitely learned a lot more about the language, and I, it definitely improved over taking it in high school. And even if I didn't pass that seal, I still like saw my growth, because I took it a second time in senior year, and I definitely saw growth. Well, for Spanish, I only started learning Spanish in freshman year and I'm in Spanish for it right now, so I took four years of Spanish. And uh, I took a Spanish zero literacy last year and this year, and I definitely feel like I got better from last year. Since last year, I improved. Spanish, I kind of started in middle school. Um, I went all the way to AP my junior year and just kind of picked it up over the years. I feel like over the years, I've become more comfortable speaking it, um, especially because for the AP exam, you have to learn how to speak it, be comfortable talking out loud in it. So I feel like I'm comfortable enough. Like I can give someone simple directions and I feel a little like mixed up, but I feel like it's enough that they'll be able to understand it. I was at the hospital with my mom and there was um, a Spanish speaking lady there and there was a translator. I, I, I was glad to help. I feel like accomplished. I feel like my efforts are like recognized. Like that I didn't try learning a language for nothing. And like it's it's good to like have something to like recognize it. Feels great. <laughs> I mean I definitely feel accomplishment because I mean I tried last year for Mandarin and didn't pass. And I tried it again this year and I passed, so yeah, I feel like I improved. Honestly, it feels kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> I took the test a lot of times, so it's kind of like a big deal for me. Um, because when you move to like a new country, it's like you, your parents are always worried you're losing touch with your cultural roots, so it's kind of a way for me to tie, back my, tie myself back into Pakistan. And like in actuality, I took that test like four times, so <laughs> it was, it was, <laughs> I didn't quit. It was a big deal for me. Honestly, I feel very excited, you know, being satisfied that I can speak like three languages, knowing that that will give me more opportunities, more job opportunities. Now that I am certified, I can help people. And I'm willing, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to help them. Uh, it feels great, but like my parents were expecting, oh, you gotta pass that test. So, um, yeah, I feel good, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> yeah. I would just tell these students that I'm very proud of them. You know, uh, they worked very hard. I've seen some students as I walk through the high schools that have uh, been in our world language programs from the start, and they've worked their way up, especially for, uh, for our students that have learned the language from scratch and were able to build up their proficiency within four years. I think something that's really powerful is that when our students come to our school district and they are learning English at the same time and can demonstrate their proficiency, in their native language, it's something to really be proud of and to be uh, certainly celebrated. I would say it's definitely worth a try. Like, even if you don't get anywhere with it, you'll always know some basics of another language and it's always great even for like traveling or work, anything. So it's always great to try. Definitely try learning a new language. It's a new experience. Uh, you can learn a lot from learning a new language and uh, you never know what's going to happen.
Learning another language, it's tough, it's not easy, but it's very rewarding. I never really thought I'd like I'd actually speak Spanish outside of high school, Spanish classes, and it can it comes really in handy. Like cause you never know who you're gonna meet, where you're gonna go. Just paying attention in those classes that you're taking, because most kids they don't pursue another language after high school. So knowing that foundation that high school language classes build can help you out a lot in the future. It definitely will benefit you to even like try. It doesn't hurt trying. And if you're good at it, like it'll help you in a lot of things, a lot of job opportunities, just in a day-to-day -day life. Right now, you, you could be like thinking of like it's not going to be helpful for you because you're speaking only English. Like everyone, like you communicate with, he speaks English. But like, I think in the future it will help you. It could be in your like future job, uh, future school, like in anything. Give it a try. We have some awesome teachers here that will lead you through the way and help you build your proficiency in the other language. I'm proud of all the students, good job to all of the parents, and hopefully the students can uh, use this as a major tool to you know, their future endeavors.